my name is Pleasant Moon and welcome back to Hammercraft Season 9, Episode 42. At the end of last episode, you all showed great concern for our brand new sniffers that we had brought back home because, well, I left them right next to the truck and you guys thought they would grow up and suffocate. Well, I would like to inform you all that they were gladly moved for the outro card of that same video, so they are well and safe inside the hospital as they poke their giant noses through the doors and my gosh, have they grown. Like, look at these guys. My gosh, you are not so small anymore. I guess the hospital staff have taken great care of you, haven't they? The ha, sniff sniff. And not only that, but they've also sniffed up a couple of pitcher pods and torch flower seeds for us, so we can definitely grow those soon and be able to put them in my base. Alas, you may also notice that there is another five sniffer eggs and two music discs in here. After last episode, I had to do a little bit more of that archaeology brushing, and I went and found some, some more like ruins underneath the water, but also found some trail ruins. I got myself a lovely enchanted brush with unbreaking and mending, and dusted a whole bunch of sand and gravel away. And well, I found of course these eggs and these music discs, music discs, but I also found, oh, if I don't click on the sign to edit it, I found some trims. Look, I was gonna do this stuff in a video, okay? but then I got carried away in stream and just stumbled upon them and I'm sorry. Ugh. So these ones we found in the trail ruins. This one we found in an end city. I know that's a little bit far out, but we did it anyway. This one was found, I believe, in a jungle temple. And I think this one was found in like a shipwreck. So we just found a bunch of those trims, which is really nice. And we'll definitely be using those later on in this episode. But I also found some shrewds. Of pottery. In the future, I would love to make a little bit of a pottery shop so all the hermits can kind of come over and make their custom pots and pay a fee to get in and do all that kind of stuff to paint their own pot and I think it'll be really cute. Pottery shirts will not lose their value because you cannot duplicate them like you can trim so it'll be an interesting business venture for future us to take care of. But anyway, all the archaeology stuff aside, we got some sniffers to look after. One of the first things that I want to do today is actually get ourselves a name tag because a few of you guys suggested that I get one and turn a sniffer upside down. And would you look at that? We have some beautifully named dinner bone name tags right here for us to use. Of course, the Aussie has the dinner bone name tags in the storage all ready to go, but I want to turn one upside down. We have to, right? For science. Just one. Which one? This one. We're doing this one. Boop. <laughs> look at the little leggies. Now, can you walk? What do you look like if you walk around? It's oddly a little bit creepy. It's kind of like a turtle on its back in a way, but like the legs kind of just like... Only a few of them move. Oh, oh. He's like he's spider pigging it on an invisible ceiling. Why does that look kind of fascinating? It's like spider pig, spider pig. Okay, copyright issues. <laughs> it does look like he's just walking on an invisible ceiling. <laughs> oh, you big cutie. Now you're Australian just like me. But now that we've named that one, the next thing that I would love to do is make these guys an environment that they can settle and wander around in. And what better place to do that than right over in this spot here where I told you guys I was going to make this beautiful pink, yellow and orange looking alien forest. There is a gorgeous amount of space here and I think they would settle in this area quite nicely. However, seeing as Jam and Impulse have taken their little pranks down, it's probably time for us to take ours down too. I was thinking about the plant that Jem made, but it doesn't quite suit the theme of the base. So unfortunately, we are going to take that down too, but it was lovely while they lasted. I am so sorry, my Mario friend, but it is time to go. Oh, I apologize. Goodbye. Oh, you're hollow in there. There's not a thought in this little man's brain. Ooh, not a thought in this plant's head either. Well, it definitely feels weird to see all this empty again, but hey, it's all nice and clean now, and that means we're going to be ready to finally build this forest that I've had sitting here as an idea for so very, very long. What I've already done is I've gathered up a whole bunch of blocks, which is about six to 8,000 blocks worth of terracotta, a whole bunch of wool, a whole bunch of glass, and all kinds of different colors that we'll need to build this forest in this particular palette. Um, let's just say with the mangrove, I pretty much sold out that wood shop in the shopping district twice now. Yeah, they're, they're kind of rich at this point, and I'm slowly running out of diamonds, but that's besides the point. We're getting into a time lapse nice and early in the episode this time because I am ready and rearing to go and we need to make at least the first step into getting these sniffers into a beautiful home environment. So grab your popcorn, put up your feet, and let's get into the time lapse. Roll it! We 
with how colourful my base already is, you wouldn't think it would get any more vibrant. Yet the brand new forest that we've just made somehow makes it pop even more. Check this out. This feels like I've made a whole biome for our new little alien island over here. It's poppy. It's fluffy and it's given me some autumn vibes. Let's go take a little bit of a walk through the forest because I think that is one of the more magical sections of it. Oop. Hello, there we go. Look what we have here. Now I will say up close it does kind of feel a little bit too blocky but i think the overall feeling still kind of gets the point across as to what i'm going for here one thing i will say too is uh you might be wondering pearl why didn't you use cherry blossom leaves for the pink trees well unfortunately the cherry blossom tree leaves just aren't quite the right tone that i'm going for in this particular forest they're a little bit too dull and i found they just didn't quite have the right contrast that i was going for so we're going with the concrete and the wool for now. However, I would really love the uh, little petal floating effect that the cherry blossom trees do have. So maybe I'll find a way to incorporate the cherry blossom leaves at some point so we at least still get the particles. Another thing you may have noticed as we are walking down the path here is A, well, we have a very textured path right now, but B, we've also got ground coverage with the beautiful flowers that came with the cherry blossom biome. I think these complement the area quite nicely alongside our pink trees themselves and I've also added a lovely pink tulip in here because it gives it a very peaceful vibe rather than a hostile planet. How do the humans pass away in such peaceful land? I guess that is for future us to find out. Something else you may have noticed is Pearl. Where are the sniffers? Why are there no sniffers wandering around having a great time here? Unfortunately, because this build has taken me so long, it's essentially cost me the better bulk part of a day to actually make all of these trees. I figure I was going to split it into two so I just don't wear myself out completely with building. So this indeed is going to be part one of the sniffer build series and we're going to make part two sometime soon. Plans for the sniffer area itself is I kind of was thinking of making the path extend up up here in between these two bunches of trees coming out the back and then hopefully landing somewhere inside or next to a sniffer structure itself that will house them. This is something that we can turn into a pitcher pod and torch flower kind of farm with some allays, but it's going to take a little bit of planning and thinking to do. So hopefully that's an idea for the not so distant future for us to create. So yes, what do you all think of the forest? Obviously everything takes a little bit of tweaking and more details to be added in the future, but at the moment I think it's really kind of captured a beautiful scene from this particular view. I'm gonna go back to the pitcher pods for a second because hey I would definitely love to put them in my forest and around my base but the problem is is that you kind of have to wait for a sniffer to sniff it up from the ground and it's not something that you can bone meal apparently as I've heard. So I'm thinking the next thing we do is kind of hang around our sniffers for a little bit see if we can get more like pitcher pod type seeds and then maybe we can kind of put them around our base a little more. Ooh. Ooh, would you look at that? Hello, you. Oh, they're already sniffing away. Oh, this is perfect. Oh, wait, he's gonna get one right now for me. <gasps> Hello. Hello. Oh, thank you very much, buddy. You guys have got me covered on what I want. But I'm just gonna hang around with you guys for a little bit and we're gonna grow ourselves some pictures in no time, I'm sure. Scar calls? You're my only hope. Now, this sounds like a Star Wars reference. <laughs> I'm just chilling with my big boys right now. It's looking like Scar's in a little bit of a pickle right now and needs the cleaning lady. I am slightly excited yet also concerned. Help is on the way, dear. Help is on the way. Oh my gosh. The Scar! cleaning lady has arrived. What is happening? <laughs> what is all of this? And how? Why? <laughs> why does it make me laugh that you have double hats on? Hey, don't talk about my double hats. They're fashionable, okay? <laughs> oh, that's oh. hilarious. What? Yeah, I'm um, Pearl. I don't know if you like scrambled eggs, but we've got a special right now here at one of the Scarland restaurants. It's dragon scrambled eggs. Uh, and uh, we can really use some help clearing out the eggs here. I, I, I've tried to go to the nuclear option by just breaking the ground below the blocks and uh -huh. sending them to their demise. See, bro, watch, watch. Okay, uh, well, that one just fell into a hole. Over yes. here, over okay, here, okay. over here. Look, no, yep, no, like, that, that doesn't, wait, how many have you got on? Scar, oh, no. Scar, no. It's not how you fix the problem. 
<laughs> I was putting them down here for later no. so I can figure out what to do with them. Oh no, this makes it harder to collect, Scar. <laughs> can, can we talk about this for a second? How is there so many? There's only supposed to be one. I'm supposed to have I... the one. Where, oh. where did all these come from? Yeah, Green told me to Green? just not let you know about this, but I also Green? don't know how to clean it up besides your assistance and skills. Green told you not to let you know about it. No, he Why? didn't tell me that. It was a dream that I had one time. It was a dream. Uh-huh. Yeah, it was a dream. Okay. Uh, there was a sniffer, and I was showing everybody the nether regions. It was crazy. Oh, well, I've got Green to talk to later about this one by the sounds of it. Totally not related to you or anything. Okay. Yeah, no, he, yeah. Um, the problem with the eggs there, Pearl, is... Uh, uh, I blew up a Doc's redstone, and um, uh, yeah, he's in, he's not been happy since then. And then, I mean, I okay. just helped Graham put nine thousand chickens in his base. Oh, and so um, you've kind yeah. of deserved this, then, is what you're saying? No, I was giving no? him a food supply for the rest of the season. Delicious chicken oh. feathers for them, all the books you can think of. Pearl, mm. I have I have tried everything to get rid of these. Gosh darn it. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh gosh, I'm gonna stop getting stuck down here with the hole with the dragon eggs. Alright. Yeah, huh? I think you can, look, you've, you've, you can use torches, but I mean, if you're not willing to dig underneath them and place torches under every single block, I think a piston will do the job. I, I could help you by breaking these one by one and cleaning up your I would love the part. services of the cleaning lady. You would? You would? What's the, what's the, uh, what's the payout, you know? What's, what's, what's the payout? Oh, um... Uh, a statue of you and Scarlet. Mm -hmm. Well, that actually sounds quite appealing. <laughs> I know, a statue. How big? When you get told. How big, oh, how big are I don't we know. talking? You know? Uh, how big? You know, right in the middle um, of the park, you know, uh, three stories tall, you know? Yeah, 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 well, yeah. Well, you yeah. know, maybe over in the corner, maybe here oh. in the backstage area, like a dedication. You know, when, Ka when cast oh. members come on stage, they see a, they see a memorial to you. Killing oh. Lady Lost. Lost? Where am I going? Where have I been lost? Did someone drop, <laughs> someone drop the keys and let, let loose? <laughs> Where did I go? Lost, <laughs> trying to clean Scarland, forever lost in a garbage can. Okay, look. Because it, it's never ending here, isn't it? It is. Look, did You're, you get my signs from the poop the other week? I did. Okay. I did. And I did. Rolling on from that, I think it kind of sounds like you need you know, a, a more permanent solution, a more permanent cleaning lady situation, because this Am is I like a constant you thing. salary too? Yeah, exactly. I, I, I said two because I'm already, I'm already trying to hire somebody for Redstone. I'm just gonna, okay. Oh. Okay, Pearl, that's it. I, I'm putting you on salary here in Scarland. Eee. You are now gonna make, um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 10 diamonds. Yeah, yeah, 10 diamonds a week. A, a week? Okay, okay, okay. Am okay, I digging okay, for pennies okay. here, Scar? 32, <laughs> 32, it's fine. 32, I was trying to undercut you. Nobody's ever ah, okay. accused me of being a good negotiator. All right, all right. That, that's a bit better. Okay, it doesn't include this job, though. And I'm confiscating all I, these eggs, by the way. It does include this job. It does. It absolutely, it does, 100%. It I'll throw in a trailer. You can, you can, you trailer. can have it for your office. My mm -hmm. I get an office as well. All right, you get, you get me so. You can build your own <laughs> office or I can build it. Oh. However you please. Okay, I like the idea of that. But I will say right now, I am confiscating these eggs because they are a legal property on the server. This is not allowed. Oh, it's okay. I already have a stack or two. Here, come with me, Paul. Oh. This right okay. here mm -hmm. can be the future home of the cleaning lady's office here at Scarland. Oh, it's a li little bit hidden away, you know, that... No, no, no. You, this, you have to use the old imagination in Pearl. You have quite the imagination. Oh, Soon, this okay. will have a road connecting through here. There's uh -huh. going to be a bunch of backstage stuff all over here. But this area has been empty, and you becoming the cleaning Ooh. lady of Scarland, and this could be your own office. Now, uh -huh. I could build something, or you could build something, whatever you want. But if you do become the cleaning lady, there is uh -huh. a salary, 32 uh -huh. diamonds a week, uh -huh. and this can be your office. You know what? Okay, I'll take it. All right, I'm, I'm going to need those, those eggs that you have in your inventory, though, as well. Yes, about those. Here, stay right here. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'll be right God, here. Oh, Don't oh, you even pick it up a stack. No, time. this isn't. He's 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 doing illegal activities on the server. Am Good I? Night. Uh, okay. Scott, no, it's... Oh, you little nugget. Okay, those are still illegal on the server. I will chase him back up about that in the future. Um, but I guess for now, I have to take care of the ones that he's already got in his base. Some time passes as I make background preparations and suddenly a message from Doc appears. It appears that Doc would like me to come visit him at the flagpole by Scar. What on earth is this guy up to? I called you here today, though, in uh -huh. a different role. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
What's this? Because you are also the official cleaning person of the server. That is correct. Okay. Yes, yes. All right. What all can right. I do for you? you know, I'm not somebody that would snitch on their neighbors and stuff, but mm -hmm. you no, know, I I'd, I'd like to bring bring something to your attention, right? Okay. Yes. Um, follow me, please, down to Scarlet. <laughs> Why do I feel like it's something I may know about? Ah, uh, okay. Yep. Yep, there's, it's, a, it's a little messy uh -oh. around here. I was introduced to that a little yeah. early today. <laughs> yeah, um, just saying. I mean, you know, as I said, nobody that snitches on their neighbors, but, uh, you know, I mean, uh, I live in a high real estate value area over there in the perimeter, mm -hmm. you know, prime real estate, so to speak. Yes. And, you know, having such messy neighbors clearly affects the, you know, real estate values and stuff. It I certainly mean, does. How, not snitching here, you know, just informing you. Do you know how this happened, Doc, by chance? An unfortunate chain <laughs> of events uh -huh. led to this, but I am the victim here, all right? Let's not forget about <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, okay. You know, it extends. Look at this. <laughs> and, and I didn't even bother to start cleaning up. I mean, you know, it's a different question how this got here. But as uh -huh. the owner of this property, you're clearly responsible. Did I clean up the 10,000 chicken they put in my perimeter? You put 10,000 chickens in your perimeter? Oh, oh yeah. My word. You know, just <laughs> emphasizing the victim role here. I'm just mm -hmm. saying, Doc, you could have hired the cleaning lady. <clears throat> you know, <clears throat> yeah, could have hired mean, the cleaning maybe, lady. Maybe they got to hire the cleaning lady. Technically, in case Scar they did. Do. <laughs> Technically, Scar oh. already has. I've seen this. I'm about <laughs> to clean it. <laughs> But oh really? Yes. Really? You clean it up for him? I am cleaning oh, it. I'm better. I'm gonna be on a wage of thirty two diamonds per week to clean up Scarland. Yes. Per week you should charge that day hourly. Hourly? Oh. Are you saying you can offer They're a really better getting, price? <laughs> They're getting <laughs> Okay. I would pay you 64 diamonds a week if you don't clean it up. <laughs> no, okay. Unfortunately, look, that's a very tempting offer, Doc, but unfortunately, <laughs> all of these eggs are illegal on the server because as someone illegal? who holds the original dragon egg from our very first fight, this is not oh, you... This is not acceptable. This is not oh, allowed. You do? Yes, I do. At least I thought I did until these appeared. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't tell you then about uh, about 30 Schalke boxes of duped dragon eggs I have somewhere in my you base. You say what now? <laughs> Doc? Um, can you want to explain how you uh, got 30 Schalke boxes of dragon eggs? It's a long story, you know, a chain of events and things. Uh -huh. But So this wasn't your fault? Like You didn't, you didn't do this by chance at all? Totally. It's not related totally not. to your Schalke box. I, I okay. ran, okay, ran. <laughs> ran went completely ran. crazy. Ran did yeah, it? I did you just say ran? Poor I, I might have Ren. been involved. I was involved. Okay, I was involved too and all. But, you know, Ren mm. went more crazy, okay? Ah, okay, okay. I Why see, do I, I feel see. like I'm talking to my mother? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Why could that like, be? Like, you know, you didn't, you didn't clean up your room. <laughs> <laughs> and then you have to... Good, find good reasons why I didn't. It, I did. It's their base. Look, my, my place is cleaned up. I cleaned up the 10 chickens uh, within I'm very, the next day. I'm very proud of you, Doc. I'm a very proud, yes. proud cleaner lady, not mum. It's expanding person. over there, all over the place. The right? greens, but sir. I didn't say greens. <laughs> Hold on a second. <laughs> no. Oh, okay. Well, I'm not hired to clean up these ones. So, okay, they hired you. Um, in case you need any flying machines to make this job far more easier, did you just say fly please don't do <gasps> flying machines? Look, I will yeah. admit, like, I was gonna do it one by one with a piston. Um, but look, Are if you serious? if you've no, got no. if you've got a better idea here, you know, I'm open. I'm open to it. <laughs> I mean, you know, at least you know around Scarland, if you have a, just a, a a little sweeper. Uh, a lot of people on the Reddit actually wanted to help out those traitors. Uh -huh. Looking at you, Reddit <laughs> posters. <laughs> there's a lot of, yeah, on the Herbicraft Reddit, uh, there's a lot of really good, actually, sweeping machines that can be built, like, in no time, you know, oh. two minutes, and then you send it through and it clears the whole line. But don't tell them. Okay. <laughs> it, but I, I can do it, right? Like, you, you, it's okay, I yeah. can do it, yeah, yeah? Okay. <laughs> yeah, super easy. You could shave up, uh, you know, a ton of time. If you have any trouble, let me know. I'll, oh, I'll oh thank you. you. You know, I mean... I, I'm feeling really bad now that you have to clean this up. And also, I, I actually didn't know that you had the one and only dragon egg. I thought mm. Green had it. I thought... Green? Why do you think Green had it? Oh, he has 18 to do dragon eggs at least. Do you know where he got those from? By chance? 
I'm not quite sure. Might have illegally duped them. Yeah. As the villain he is. <clears throat> Everything is pointing to green right now because Scott kind of <laughs> threw him under the bus and now I'm hearing it from you. <laughs> this man yes, is about exactly, to feel exactly. the wrath of the cleaning lady because my gosh, this man. You know, I was going to ask Doc, what do you get out of all of this, all of this today? And I'm kind of understanding a little bit here more and more. Satisfaction. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Satisfaction. Uh-huh. <laughs> You're trying to set the cleaner lady mom onto green now, aren't you? This is what it feels like. No, I don't. No? No? Well, I don't even have to, you know, the, the facts just naturally, you know. Hmm. Everything kind of just leads towards his base, right? Every every other dragon egg, except for the one, will be confiscated. Um, including all right, then. the ones in your possession, right. if that's, you know, applicable. If, you know, you'd be willing to, to uh, give those up, Doc, you know, by chance? I, yeah, I've... Sure, yeah. sure. I mean, you yeah. know, don't want no trouble with the cleaning lady. Exactly, also, right? Also, you have a powerful friend over there. You know, I mean, there's Jem. <laughs> she dangerous. I'm telling you, if you give me those dragon eggs right now, you know, you'll you'll be you'll be thanked, praised, appreciated. You know, it, it's very important. It's very important those dragon right, eggs I'll are put under the detained, the detained. I'll hand them over. Um, do you oh. have enough space in your inventory, Dad? Wait, <laughs> how, how, how many shulker boxes did you say it was? <laughs> 20-ish, 30-ish maybe, a little bit more or less. I'll hand them over, I'm not like them. Okay, you know. all right. You know, the, you know if, if what, what you're doing right now is, is adding brownie points, it's working. It's working. All right, all right. okay, <laughs> cool. Uh, I got them over in my search room. Uh, yeah, let's head there real quick. Okay. <laughs> okay, let me think. Where did I put you know, the egg? You know, for someone who, who's not that fond of Scar and Green and, and I think Mumbo, right? It, it, it's, this is an interesting choice of artwork on the wall. <laughs> I mean, you know, <laughs> what do you say? Stay closer, close to your friends, closer to your enemies. So, okay, yeah, they're here. So this whole barrel is full of... Oh my of gosh. <laughs> this is... this one too. This is out of hand. I like how one suspiciously has 700 in it versus the 1.7 thousand. <laughs> 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 well, uh, you know, we some got placed, and yeah, and here in this chest there might be a few okay. as well. But I'm gonna have to take two trips because I can only fit this many. But I appreciate I your willingness done. to keep the See? server, you know, and the dragon egg safe. Clean and order, no stress. Exactly, exactly. Clean and orderly. This is how we want it. You know. Let me know if you need any help with the cleaning and. Um, Good luck. <laughs> Thank you. It'll be it'll be started sometime tonight. The cleanup phase. All right. <laughs> mm, yep, it's going Good. great. <laughs> Thank you, Doc. <laughs> See you later. Bye. Bye. Well, it's looking like we got our work cut out for us. Hey, interesting to note that uh, Doc is trying to dob in the green and Scar, and Scar just wants cleaning lady assistance, but also dobs in green at the same time. Is it just me, or does it kind of feel like they're working against each other a little bit here? Either way, we have ourselves a brand new job to do. As for the duplication of the dragon egg, I'm not not mad just hmm disappointed maybe i don't know that's what that's what mum say right so i guess i'll kind of just continue on with that role <laughs> now as doc suggested as well i also went onto the reddit and had a look at some of the posts that were suggesting the flying machines to help clear out the eggs instead of doing it one by one and thank you very much to awesome creeper 9 for this wonderful design that should kind of do the majority of scar's base Luckily, a lot of Scar's base is completely flat, so this design should work just fine for quite a lot of these eggs. I've prepared myself a few extra little resources and also some extra pistons because, well, yeah, this design is not going to get all of them. And we've got to be a little bit picky in some zones. Now, obviously, we don't want to hit his armor stands either, so we're going to have to keep our eyes on that. But let's take a couple of these observers, the sticky pistons, the slime and the yellow concrete, and that should do it for a nice chunk. It is two block tall, so I will sweep it this way. And we're going to have to do these in a couple of goes as well, because this is not obviously going to get all of it in one little sweeper. I'm going to stick the sticky piston here, sticky piston here. Now the observers facing downwards. Not that way. That way. There we go. And that should pretty much be the machine to do the first sweep. Now, just in case, I'm going to check its path to make sure it's not going to hit anything vital, but it'll eventually get to one of the armor stands. So we're just going to stick a block in front of it so it's going to stop before it gets to those. Hopefully that should do it just about there. Okay, let's run this thing. Fingers crossed. And all we're going to do is chuck that there and it's off. There it goes. 
<laughs> oh, and it, you know what? It's not doing too bad. Oh, I'm getting a tree in my face. Oh, I have hit. I, oh, ow, wait, why is there a Vex here? Oh, I didn't realize there was a Vrekka on there. Scout, your place is dangerous. I may have somehow hit, oh, okay, connected to the cart. So it's gone and hit the cart and stopped. That's slightly problematic, but I feel like the guy in there is even more problematic. Scout, I thought your park was full of happiness, not death. Okay, I'm just gonna break these temporarily. We'll put them back, don't worry. And we're gonna set that machine off again. Okay, that, that that's the wrong way. Oh no, that, that's that's not the right way. That's not the right way. Stop, stop, stop. It, it's not stopping. Okay, I need, I need you to stop, sir. Sir, I need you to stop. Okay. <laughs> this is what happens on a red... A person who doesn't do redstone does redstone. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Let's let's go again. Be free, my little cleaner machine. There it comes once again, sweeping through. Beautiful. And it should stop. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Let's just do this. Should stop as it gets to these. If it doesn't, I'm going to be very upset. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Not good. Not good. Not good. Ah. Uh... Ah. Uh... I try. I look. I'll be honest. I was advised to put a block in front of it to stop it. Um, that did not stop it. Oh no! Oh no! I mean, they're not broken. Like they're still good. We just gotta shift them back again. That's all. I mean, technically, the only thing kind of really out of place here is just the look, what looks like to be the cane. I guess. I think. Oh, and the and the. The, the milk. <laughs> I may need a bit of help fixing that up, but I'm sure that'll be okay. It's just going to be about moving them to the right position again. At least they're not broken. I would have panicked if they were broken. Okay, I think I'll keep in mind for the future ones to just break break the slime block. I think that's going to be the easier method. Yeah, yeah, that'll be the easier method. But you know what? Because this is probably going to take me a hot minute, I am going to run like a little mini overview time lapse of me cleaning up the area because I think that'll be satisfying. And now this is the point where I do like little mini weird rambles over the over the time lapse because it's gonna be far too short for a piece of music to cover. So hello, I am cleaner lady Pallescent Moon at Scar's service, cleaning up Scar land today, picking up all the dragon poop eggs that have appeared in his base that was totally not Dox or Griot's fault, and would you look at that, we're done. Just over eight stacks of dragon eggs in our possession later, and well, the top half of Scar land up until Griot's little archway back there is Clean, looking beautiful, looking for a scene. We still have underneath this place to do where Skyland decided to whack a whole bunch of the eggs, but I'll plot along on that in between the episodes. I've also repaired a couple of the pieces that needed repairing, plus a couple of little extra holes that I noticed Scar had, but I shall have to ask an armor stand expert so we can fix those ones properly and put them back where they should be. The eggs in my inventory not only covered the main street of Skyland, but I realized after I finished the time lapse that they actually continued up here and into the castle and inside it as well. The absolutely unknown mystery person that did this definitely spared no expense and well, it's clear Scar was well in need of the cleaning lady. For now, it is time to pop back to our base and we are going to get some good, well-deserved rest. Sadly, that is also going to mark the end of the episode for today. Now, I was going to do some trim stuff, but we are going to be leaving that until the next episode alongside growing more of those pitcher plants so we can put them in our base. But thank you all so very, very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, let me know down in the comments below and I shall catch you all in the next one. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Goodbye.